integration using the TI-83 calculator. The definite integral is the area under the curve and is described by the integral sign. The lower limit of integration is A. The upper limit of integration is B. The integration of F from A to B. The function is the integrand, which is f of x. x is the variable of integration, dx. And when we find the value of the integral, we have evaluated the integral. The integration function on the calculator is as follows. It's the f-n-i-n-t, and it carries the following parameters. We must enter the expression or the function of the integrand. We must put in the variable of integration. We must put in a lower limit. We must also put in the upper limit of integration. Let's take a look at an example. Here we'll evaluate the integral from negative 7 to 0 of the function 16x plus 11 dx. Here's the calculator solution. We'll first enter the math area of our calculator. We'll then scroll down to the function integration. I'll press enter. We'll then put in our expression 16x plus 11. I'll insert a comma. I'll put in the variable of integration, which is x. Our lower limit is negative 7. I'll insert a comma. Our upper limit is 0. And we have a total area of negative 315. Now we'll take a look at another example. Let's evaluate the integral from 0 to power 4 for the function 3 secant squared x dx. So we'll enter the function integration on our calculator. So I'll hit the math key. I'll scroll down to our ninth option, which is function integration. And if you remember from your rules from trigonometry, that secant square is equal to 1 over the cosine square. So for my expression, I'll enter 3 divided by the cosine. I'll put in my argument x. I'll close off my argument, and then I'll square it. I'll insert a comma. My variable of integration is x. The lower limit of integration is 0, and the upper limit of integration is pi over 4. I'll close off my function integration, and we have an area of 3. Thanks for watching.